Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Lisa with Lisa's Faith and Scripture Writing Channel. I'm excited to be here today. I'm excited to do something new uh, that I've never done before. I had a company reach out to me called the Christian Daily Planner and asked me if I would review their daily planner. And I thought, wow, what an honor. So um, it kind of fits with my um platform here on here on YouTube. It's uh, Christian based. It is something I love planners and um, it's something new and different. I hope you like what you see. I actually like what I see and I think I might be using it. Um, it's not something I would be showing on YouTube every day. I still would be doing what I normally film, but this is just a bonus video and me sharing a product that might interest you and I think you will really enjoy. Comes in this wonderful box here. I love the silver foiling on top and um, really nice quality box. And here's the planner. So I got the black one and I'm kind of mm, on the fence about black. I think I wish I requested the white, but they come in two colors, black cover or white cover. And that's straightforward and as simple as it gets. I love that about this company because sometimes we can get brought into the rabbit hole of options and all the things and they're fun and then it just they overwhelm after a while so anyways a lot of this already had plastic on it to protect it when it was shipped to me it was shipped in bubble wrap in a box uh, very well secured and then this had its own plastic and the box had its own so in order to not um, have all the crinkle noise I did not leave and leave it on so I took everything off and I wanted to really get up close and personal and look at the planner itself it is a 10 by 7 I think planner um, a lot of planners are seven by nines. Uh, this is just a little bit bigger than that. Um, so if you are looking for a planner and you're wanting to um, kind of know the dimensions of this one, let me grab my ruler. So I have this clear plastic ruler here. So I'm just gonna go edge to edge. And yes, that is seven inches going this way. And then from the top here and just a little with the, bind with the um, cover here it's just a little over 10 inches unless I don't have it the right spot uh, but yeah 7 by 10 is what we're looking at and then as far as going this direction hopefully the camera is not blurry this is about an inch thick so um, that is what we're looking at that'll give you some idea about the dimensions of the planner the planner itself is gorgeous um, the the cover I love that and um, I'm going to take this off. It's just a little piece of paper that wrapped around it. And it reminds me, the cover reminds me of um, some of the Bibles I used to have, or I still have. I just kind of have them tucked away. I need to really pull them out. Um, but it's this um, PU leather is what it's called on the website. Um, it's a very durable um, leather. So if you're holding it in and out of a bag that you're carrying or you're a little rough and tumble like I am, um, this cover should hold up and it goes over the edges so it should protect the paper really, really well. Um, it does have two sewn in ribbons. The cover here is sewn in, stitched all the way around on both sides. I love that. It comes with this band to hold everything in. So when you are um, closing up your planner, all you have to do is just take this band and then there you go. So if you have any like loose sermon notes or papers from church or receipts or whatever, you can kind of keep it compact into this. So I love that about this. I'm going to take this back and put it back on the back. Another thing that I love about this, it came with a pen um, and it is a, they say a metal ballpoint pen and it's, it's not heavy, but you know, it feels good and weighted in my hand and you just twist it here and it writes well. I am going to find, oh, where my sticky notes go? Found my sticky notes. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and write on this one and I have horrible handwriting. There we go. Hi friends. And so it wrote very smooth. Um, the ink came out well, uh, no issue. I drew the squiggle line. And so <laughs> I love this pen. This is a really good high quality pen. Um, 
So now to get onto the inside. So now let's look at what else they have that came with the planner. What I noticed about their website is they did not have like a whole bunch of extras that you could buy for it. It was just straightforward, this planner and what came inside this box. That's it. And it came in two colors and you can buy just one planner or you can buy three planners or you can buy six planners and the three and six are a little bit cheaper. The more you buy, the cheaper it could be. So if you are someone who works in a church and you want to buy your um, staff members like all the same planners or something like that, this might be a good product for you. Um, so they sent me this little card. It's actually a sticker. Um, it said thank you. Um, which I love. So I might put the sticker somewhere inside the planner. Um, this is not a planner I would use a lot of stickers in. Um, I may use stamps or like very thin washi in it if I wanted to add color elements. Definitely highlighters and dot markers um, would work really well in this. So if you're thinking of planner ideas, um, this is not like a decorative planner thing that you would want to do. You can put your own tabs. They have black, they have white, and then you can do custom tabs here, which I love. And it's hard to see because it's all white, but that's the custom tab right there. And so you can do that and um, for your planner to set it up. And every planner that is purchased, you uh, change a life. Um, there's an organization, uh, the website is charitywater.org. So this is supporting uh, underdeveloped countries that do not have clean water and giving resources to uh, help people have clean water. Because the best gift of life I think we can give in this world, especially in countries that don't have clean water, is to help them have clean water. Um, absolutely, I think this is a great idea. I love that they are changing the world in this way and, uh, and this planner is helping people to do that. So if you do purchase a planner like this, then that, there you go. Um, I always think of, when I think of the cost of something, if I'm part of the proceeds go to it. I try to figure out, and I haven't deep dived that, but I try to figure out how much of the proceeds are going and um, kind of take that out of the price because then that's a charitable donation from my heart to them when I do products like that. Um, so yeah, it's just something to think about. So we're going to open this up and the first page is always blank. I was thinking this might be a good like memory page or like year you know, something if you like to draw or if you do like stickers um, and you want to put a few in here, this is a great blank space for that. <laughs> I mean, absolutely great blank space for that. Um, if not, just leave it the way it is. I might put my sticker up there that they sent me. So, and then it comes here in the first place you really have and you get started is this, um, your planner belongs to your phone number, email, and address. Now, I would be very careful with some of this because um, if you lose it and somebody that shouldn't have your information does have it, that that's up to you if you're going to actually use that. Um, but uh, you can have this if found. You know, please return to this person. Um, email wouldn't be so bad in name, but I definitely wouldn't give out my address, and I probably wouldn't give out my phone number. So if I did do that, that's what I would do. Most planners, I don't even feel that out. <laughs> Just kind of ignore it. Um, here is what's inside. So um, you have your welcome, how to use it by the year, by the month, and by the week, and also included. So it has a lot of things in this jam-packed full of anything and everything you would absolutely need to do, uh, to ha a need to use um, for your daily life. Um, it's great for moms. It's great for, um, you know, like I said earlier, um, staff members and church members and stuff like that. Um, if you're going to buy them in bulk, um, it's great for husbands to keep track of things. Um, I think it, it can be used for men and women based on the style of the way it is. And I think it, I think it's great. I think it's absolutely great. So um, it's versatile for anybody. Um, what's inside here, um, you have some goal setting things, you have planning, you have checklists and things like that. And there's scripture throughout. So you can kind of peruse through this and it says yearly overview, dates to remember, holidays, 
goal map, a monthly budget, which is something I love doing. If you know me, I have a second channel that's strictly on budgeting. I go very detailed into that. Uh, but in here, I would just do the, the highlight numbers. I would not really do my whole budget in here because it wouldn't fit in here. Um, but a monthly budget overview would be nice in here. Um, a monthly overview page, so a calendar page, weekly overview page, which has individual days, the daily part, and then service notes, prayer journal, Christmas gift ideas, 2024 review, Bible reading log, my contacts, movie, mo um, sorry, books and movie list, password organizer, I have other ideas for that. I'll talk about that later. Grocery shopping list, meal, um, weekly meal planner, uh, food exercise tracker, holiday meal planner, travel checklist, and gardening planner. So it's got something for everybody. This is the entire book. This is what it has. Now, if you read down here, um, pay close attention. So you'll find perforated pages with these items. So it's the grocery shopping list, weekly meal planner, food and exercise tracker, holiday meal planner, travel checklist, and gardening planner. Um, they're perforated pages that can come out. I will show you that later. And all these pages are perforated for your convenience. You may remove them from the planner and make copies for yourself for personal use. So you can photocopy them and print them if you have that ability. And then you can also download additional copies from their website. And so there's a limited number that they can fit in the book. Um, to get you started, but when you go in and you purchase one of these and you leave your email address, they have a free downloadable section that you can download these. So I thought that was brilliant. Um, and you know, I, I just think it's great that they have, you have access in many different ways, whether it's digitally or whether it's, um, um, making your own copies from a blank copy uh, at home. Both ways work and they make sure you're covered. So, cause there's not enough for an entire year in the back of the book. So we'll get to that in a little bit, but let's go ahead and start here. And again, this was the 2024 calendar for the yearly um, look. I would um, normally, I would do paydays um, 2024 until my husband gets a new job. Um, he's currently uh, trying to find a different job. And so we may have to live off of savings for a little while until he gets a new job, which is fine. Um, we have that all figured out. If you want to check that out, it's in my other channel, uh, Lisa's Faith and Budget Planning channel. Um, but 2024, I would normally put paychecks if, when my husband starts working again. And I would, I used to put like my son's school schedule. So if there was a, um, time where he was off for Christmas break or there's no school that day or it's teacher work day or um, things like that or report cards and stuff. You can kind of put little colored dots, whether it's a highlighter or a dot marker or um, little dot stickers and stuff like that. You can create that and have a key down here at the bottom. Um, over here, dates to remember. Um, I am a budgeting person. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with this. You can list out everybody's birthdays and anniversaries here. I like to make sure I remember when I have certain things coming out of um, our sinking funds that are annual expenses. That would be great to be put here. Annual maintenance work that you want to get done. So in the spring, if you want to um, get all your spring supplies and, and things like that, whatever month you typically would do that. Um, so you can start gardening and planting. That would be great to put in here. Um, the, the, whatever you can conform it to fit your lifestyle and any, whatever your lifestyle is. So there's so many things you can do here dates to remember. Um, it says helpful hint color code. You're created, uh, dates with the corresponding data in the year overview page. That's a good idea. So if I have annual expenses here and I'm like January, that's when the car tags are due and I have a color for that. I can go over here and just put a dot and um, they would work together as a team. So that is really cool. I like that. Um, what else do I have here? Make sure. Okay, so these are all the holidays in here. So if you're looking for specific holidays, um, there you go. It's already lined up and ready for you. And you can put them in your calendars as you go. They're not actually, well, they might be on the calendar. I have to look. 
So goal map for 2024, you can review your 2023 year and then do your goals for 2024. If you have not set goals for 2023, I don't think that matters. I think all that matters is you kind of reflect on it and then start setting your goals here. I am not a goal setting person. Um, I don't like being locked into something like that. It, it causes high anxiety for me. So I don't really set goals. I might rename it to something else. I don't know what I would rename it to, but um, things I would like to do in the year and then that it, which is a goal in its sense, but it's not finite. It's flexible for me and I need something that's more flexible. So typically I shy away from anything that's goal setting, but um, yeah, I, I really need to kind of think that through a little bit. Anyways, um, down here it has a verse from Proverbs 13, 16. Wise people think before they act. Fools don't and even brag about their foolishness. So um, I think goal, ma uh, goal setting and goal mapping is great to not be so foolish. So there you go. <laughs> I think that is really cool. So it does have these beautiful ribbons. I've got one here uh, on the first month. Uh, when you're setting your tabs, uh, they've already got a place where you can put your tabs and just kind of put the sticker there. And if I go to like the other months, um, at the beginning, if I can find one, there you go. See, it's already set. So you know where to put it and it's kind of going all the way down the page. Um, so you don't even have to measure that out because I, I hate doing that. Um, this is just a blank piece of paper. I mean, look at this. There's so much you could put here. I was thinking this could be a, a reflection memory keeping page. Like if you have one of those, um, what are they called? Like sprocket or uh, Ivy or I don't know. There are little mini printers that print like a, a, um, a small sticker picture and you can print those out and just if you have like a birthday or something like that, you can put that in there. Be very minimal with the stickers that you do put in here. I wouldn't do them every week or daily, but um, maybe through sprinkled throughout would be fine and it would be okay, especially if you take out the perforated pages in the back. I think the binding in the spine would hold that okay. Now I do talk about decorative because I am a decorative planner. I love using stickers, so that's what you're gonna hear from me. If you do not enjoy doing that, then this is you know blank page. This is an extra note page. Um, stamps would be great in here if you have decorative stamps and you wanna make it pretty. Um, yeah, that kind of thing. So um, you can write whatever you want. I thought that was a good idea right there. Here I have, um, let me move the string out of my way. Here is the goals for January. So not only do you have yearly goals, you have monthly goals, Dece December review and January review. Here's your monthly budget page, your income, expenses, savings, giving, and totals here at the bottom, what you budget, um, what you spent, and difference. Um, I usually typically do what I budget, what actually happened, and then, um, then leave the difference. So I wouldn't use the word spent, but I would use the word actual. That's that's kind of where my brain goes. So um, yeah, but that that's okay. But yeah, this looks great. I love this in here, and I think it's great to kind of have a an overview of your month. You got four income, you got 15 expenses, and then you have one, two, three, four, five savings, and one, two, three, four giving. So there's a lot here that you can work with and you can con probably condense a lot of your budget into this. So I'm gonna try this in January and I might show that off. So that's kind of cool. Um, here's your calendar. Um, you have scripture here, Proverbs 11.2. Um, you have your days. Um, it's always a Monday start to Sunday, and there's a reason for that, and I, I think it works pretty well for this planner. You can write your goals here. You can write your task list for the month, which is basically a goal in itself. You can put um, birthdays, anniversaries. Again, um, you put that on the calendar. If it doesn't fit over here, you can kind of write the date and you can draw your own lines in. I actually ordered a stencil that's going to do that with um, dot markers uh, from Amazon. So that would be kind of cool. Um, monthly tasks can go down here. 
prayers and reminders, habits and reminders. So um, if you don't want to be the goal list and you're out, you can make a prayer list. You can whatever, whatever you want. This is, if you get this planner, it's your planner. You get to do whatever you want. And um, I think it's great. So it does have the holidays, New Year's Day, Martin Luther King Day, things like that. And then here's your first week. So again, personal and spiritual goals or whatever you feel fitting right here. Your scripture here, weekly task wins this week. Um, this is your gratitude. This is your wins. This is the things you'll be thankful for. And it'll carry you through the week because you know these things are good and they happen. Um, so wins for the week uh, to improve on. So if there are things that you're like, this week wasn't that great and I want to improve on this habit or things like that, um, that could be uh, what you put right here. If you want to get into the planner and do this, you can change these up. You can put a little white it out or a little sticker and just kind of um, put something else different here. You can draw lines for yourself. Um, whatever you need, it's your planner. Um, Monday to Sunday, uh, January starts on a Monday, which is great this year. Um, here's just an empty box, habits to focus, and then probably a title right here, or, or your habits go right here. And then um, these can be a couple different things. These could be your hourly and you write the time in, or, and you write, do time blocking in this section, or you can do a checklist here. If you don't need the time blocking and you don't need like um, anything like that, you and you do have a checklist that you wanna tackle for the day, you can do that. And then you can write your appointment times up here and, um, and things like that. So there's a couple way of doing a couple ways of doing this. I also saw this, and I think I might try this. Is um, a scripture for the day um, where I take if the scripture will fit, <laughs> and it's one simple verse. I can write that one verse. I can sit and meditate and think and pray and bring the Holy Spirit in and say, "Hey, be with me as I'm reading the scripture. Um, open my mind and eyes and heart to what you're trying to tell me, and um, be my guide in that." And just that's a great way to start your day and just kind of mentally focus on that and then have your time blocking or your to-do list down here. Down here at the bottom, it does say sleep and it's got three, four, five, six, all the way up to 10 hours. Um, that's a lot of sleep. I never get 10 hours sleep, do you? Um, I think that is great um, to track your sleep and um, because a lot of us uh, cram pack our planners full of stuff and don't ever get enough sleep for it. And if we're stressed, we need to make sure we're taking care of that. This is January week one. We got to Sunday. We are done planning for the week. And then on Sunday, we can take our planner to church with us. And we have service or sermon note section and a prayer journal section. So lots of note taking here. Um, throughout the week, you can just have this a ribbon right here. And whenever you have prayer requests, just to write them down. When you need to journal your own prayers because life is getting hard, this is a good place to go to and write them down. And you have everything in one place, which is kind of nice. Um, and you don't really have to date. I mean, you can put a date here in prayer journal. But you don't really have to date it because you know it happened within that week. So unless you feel like a date is appropriate, then I would do that. So speaker's notes and message are here and then the takeaway from the message. So I think this is awesome. This is what I want to start doing. This is what I got excited about in this planner is I want I want to take notes. Now I would have to do a little different. I probably I might try taking in church, but it is a little bigger than what I'm used to carrying. Um, I don't know how I feel about that yet, but a lot of people have bigger purses than I do. <laughs> I'm very minimal in what I carry. Um, but I might try to start carrying it and bringing it to church and um, do, write the service uh, sermon notes um, or about the message in the service. And... Um, come home and because we have um, access to the sermon online on Facebook where it's broadcast as well online 
this would be great to just write a few notes here at church because I can't write notes and listen to the pastor at the same time. I just can't. Um, I'm not, I've never been good at it. Take notes in class. Forget it. I was never good at it. Um, but if I can pause what he's saying, write down my thoughts, and then play again, I could definitely get more out of the sermon. And and I would love to use this to write that down um, after the sermon. So there we go. So that is completes week one and then it starts over again with week two and at the end of when she gets to Sunday you have your sermon notes. So I'm going to go here to the back of this planner and kind of go this direction and cool thing about this planner I forgot to mention this has a pocket in the back. Look how deep that pocket is. I mean let's see that's all I got nearby me. Here's my phone. There you go. <laughs> That's bulky. Um, but yeah, it opens pretty wide. Um, great for uh, papers you might get at church or um, receipts while you're out and about if you need to, to use that. And then those blank pages. <laughs> Let me get to the others. There we go. All right, so this is the last page of the year um, for week 53. It's December, the first two days here, and then it goes into January of 2025. So that, or 20, December of 2024 and January of 2025. So that's where we're at here. And then, um, then you have your 2024 year in review. Each page has scripture. I don't know if I pointed that out before in the previous. So here in your um, weekly there's scripture. Yeah, in your weekly there's scripture. Your monthly has scripture. These don't because those are sermon notes. And then, yeah, so weekly and monthlies have scripture. Let me find December in here. November and the monthly here, the month cover page, and there we go, and the monthly page. So there's scripture all throughout, and you can write scripture, and you can put reminders of scripture that you want to reflect on. So that is really, really important, um, and the kind of the purpose and the goal of the actual planner. Here we have the 2024 review, some scripture at the bottom, two notes pages. You can write it as the year's happening, maybe come back uh, quarterly and just jot down some notes. That way when you go to review with your next planner and plan out the next year, that this would already be filled out and ready to go if that is something you do. <laughs> it's not something I typically do, but it is interesting. All right, so in the back here, it starts with the Bible reading log. And I think this is a great idea to write down um, or mark off things that you have read in the Bible. Um, whether you're doing a sermon series at church and you're reading through an entire book of the Bible, you can mark it off here. Or whether you are ambitious and like to read the entire Bible in a year or things like that, you can mark off what you've read as you've gone along. Um, I personally would just mark off if I'm doing a Bible study, like I'm doing a Bible study on the book of John. We're going verse by verse. And here is see, this is the Old Testament. Here's New Testament. So here's the book of John, and I would highlight what I would write what I have read in the year. I would highlight um, the, uh, the chapters that I read in the year for 2024. So that is really, really cool. I love that we have the New Testament here and then the Old Testament here. And then it's, I believe it's an order. Yeah, it's an order of how it is um, in a physical Bible, which makes it easier to find, I think. So um, yeah, that's really cool. I love that. I love this. So you can do that. You can put some notes over here on what you thought, what you felt, um, what maybe if you did do a Bible study, who was the Bible study teacher? Um, what study did you use to get you through this? And that way, you know, okay, yeah, I read the book of John. Here's the chapters that I read. Oh yeah, that was this particular Bible study group. And just kind of make notes on that. I, that. I think this is a great page for that if you wanted to add to it. 
Here is your contacts. That's a lot of contacts. I would never put names, addresses, phone numbers, emails for uh, confidentiality reasons. I don't think people want me to put their stuff in there. But you can put contacts and instead of addresses, you can put email addresses um, and things like that. And it does have column for email, so name and email. And maybe, um, maybe the state they live in instead of the address. Uh, because most of that is usually in our cell phones, but if our cell phone dies and we have this and we need to contact and stuff like that, you know, we have the number, we can borrow somebody's phone or something. So, um, I don't know. Um, you could, if you wanted to rename the columns and white all this out or, or put some stickers over this and use this for something else. Let your imagination go and, and do not be conformed to what it has to say right here. You can make it whatever you want. This would be great great. You know, you can, you know, do your kids activities and say, oh, this is what happened. You can do some memory keeping if you like to journal little sections and stuff. There's just so many things. I can't really think of anything off the top of my head, but that is something um, I would not fill out in the way it's actually fill, uh, required. So I would have to come, come up with something else. Uh, same thing with books to read and movies. I'm not an avid book reader and I'm not an avid movie watcher. So I would use these as checklists for something else. Um, and then I probably would white out and use a sticker or something to kind of relabel that. But if you love to read books, and I know a lot of you do, this would be a great page for you and just check it off throughout the year. And then movies to watch. If there are movies, if you're an avid movie watcher, um, whether it's on television or streaming or, you know, uh, at the movie theater, we go a few times a year, but not very often, not even enough to get rewards points for anything. So it's crazy, but we watch the movies. Um, or you may want to go back and make note of movies you watched. If you're curious, um, that I would probably do uh, password organizer. I would not use so this is something, um, viewer discretion, you know, user discretion. Um, and um, if you need a place to put it, you could probably use these pages or photocopy these pages, write them and have them placed at home outside your planner. That would make sense to me. And I have done that and I have thought about that um, so many times because <laughs> I have to change my password so frequently because I forget them and not all of them can be saved. So um, yeah, that's up to you, but it's a good thing to have if you don't have it in your planner. Um, and two more pages, you get four pages of that. So yes. Now you could, if you wanted to list the websites and what email it's under, but don't put username and password kind of thing, um, but list your websites so you can know where your websites are or what websites you're using. So here's another blank page and here we go with the perforated pages. So here's the grocery shopping list. This is very good. You, it's broken down into categories and you can write out what you need and have this like on the magnet on your fridge or um, clipped to something in your kitchen and you can just take it down, write what you need and then put it up until you're ready to go grocery shopping and take this with you to shop. This is one of the um, printables they were talking about that you could print off the website as well once you've run out of these. So you got a grocery shopping list on this side and then you have a weekly meal planner. So let's, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, uh, what week it is. And uh, that's a great meal planner. And as you're meal planning, you can write down what you need from the store. Um, this is something you can take into your pantry and just make sure you're not buying duplicates because I have bought so many mixes of muffins that I, I'm good for the rest of the year for sure and probably first few months of the next year because I keep forgetting I already have them at home. So uh, writing that down would help. So you got um, one page here of those two and then here's page two and page three and page four. So you get four of these. So that would last you an entire month. And then on the website, or if you have a copier at home, um, you can copy it and um, print it off at home. So um, download from the website or copy and print from home. So food and exercise Monday through Sunday, everything is Monday through Sunday throughout the planner. And this is also perforated um, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, 
This is tracking what you did eat, not what you plan to eat. So this is different from this. Uh, track your water, two, four, six, eight, eight glasses of water. Um, did you take your vitamins? And what kind of exercise or did you exercise? And whatever you want to write there. Um, I think that's really nice. Again, these are printables on the website as well. So you have one, two, three, four, five, Six. So you have six pages um, total, three pages front and back of the food and exercise tracking, and then holiday meal planner. Um, this has, let's count how many of these has. Um, one, two, three, and four. Okay, so we have holiday, four holidays. Um, that you can plan for that or in the planner. Uh, main dish, side dish, appetizers, drinks, and desserts. So if you're one who loves to host, who always have the, everybody there at their house and, um, and shares and, and that, that is your thing, this would help definitely for that. What you need to prepare for it in your little shopping list for all these different areas. Um, I think this is really, really great for someone like me. If I all of a sudden hosted something at my house, this is not something I do on a regular basis. So I need something to help compartmentalize it so it does not overwhelm me. So, um, and you have four holidays that's in here that you can use this with. So, um, and then again, these are on the website for free downloadables, um, for, um, those who have purchased the, um, planner and have are on the email list I think so travel checklist um, this is great reminder if you don't travel a lot and you need to pack a checklist is really good that's already pre-printed because there's things you're going to forget I always do I've you know we are a family of four adults now but my husband enlisted in the Navy like 26 years ago and <laughs> stayed in for 20 years and we moved frequently and traveled frequently. So we always had to have our checklist, um, you know, wallet, purse, keys, ID, passport, cell phone, emergency doctors, um, glasses, medications, device chargers. I always forget a charger. I'm always buying chargers and then I have a million chargers at home. Um, what cash you want to travel with, things like that. So it's a great um, launching point to get you started if you don't travel very often or if you travel often and you're on autopilot, but you want to review and make sure that you didn't forget anything, this is a good checklist for that. And you can add to the checklist, which I think is awesome. Uh, you got one, two, three, four, five, and six. They want you to travel a lot this year. That's what they're saying. They're saying travel a lot, enjoy life. Um, and we should enjoy life. <laughs> and notes for prayer and safety um, for your home while you're gone and your trip while you're out and then coming back. So that that's a great thing to have at the bottom as a place to pray for that. Now we have over here, gardening planner. Um, I'm not good at gardening or plants. Um, I have to rely on everybody else for that. But um, this is kind of cool. If you have perennials and annuals and things you want to take notes about, you can plan um, gardening if you have like a raised gardening beds and you grow your own vegetables or things like that, this would be good for you um, as well. And you can kind of make it your own if you need to white out what you want or put stickers over it um, to change it just a little bit. And then notes at the bottom. So that's pretty cool. You get two pages of that and then you get one, two, three, four, five, and six, six note pages in total um, for this planner. And that is it. Again, there's the pocket. You can put receipts and stuff in the back. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this ribbon back in. So this is my review of the 2024 uh, Christian Daily Planner. I think it's a great planner. I think it's versatile enough that anybody could use it for any of their needs. Um, I love the fact that you can put the pen on the outside in the back. Um, I love all the ideas on the inside. It really does uh, help someone who can, needs focus and direction on these things. Um, I really love the um, cover and how, you know, it's a hard cover 
and if you're in church or out and about writing it's a hard surface already to write on so it's easier to write i i really like everything about it it's got everything you could possibly need and this is the only planner that you would need there's so much in here that um, i don't think you're missing anything and it's flexible enough to make your own and um, i i am excited to get into this and see what this looks like so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys next time i hope you have an amazing and blessed day bye